you pretend to be is who you will become. Who you have pretended to be so far is what has materialized your present circumstances. By understanding the rules of the game of life, you can materialize not only your desires, but truly multiple versions of yourself that already actually exist in the multiverse. You want to know more about it and you want to understand how to crack the matrix properly? Just keep on watching. Hello everyone, I'm Nea for those of you who are new and on this channel I talk everything about manifestation, esotericism, a little bit of quantum physics and so much more. And on Patreon I do make weekly extra videos for those of you who are interested and all my services are listed down below. But today let's get started with today's topic. Who you pretend to be is eventually who you are going to become and actually whoever you have identified to be so far, woman, man, they, or I, your preference, whatever identification you have holded in your mind and in your imagination is what has collapsed the reality that you are experiencing. Now, the good news is, is that at any single moment in time, you can affect the mirror, you can affect reality and become something different and therefore collapsing different version of reality in front of your eyes. So even though there is a slight delay between yourself and the in reality and the mirror, it totally can be done. And this is the art of materialization or manifestation. And instead of waiting for all your hopes and wishes to come true, be honest with yourself and compose reality. Composing reality is to actually be honest with yourself, sitting down and really looking at yourself and saying, how does my ideal reality and don't even call it ideal because ideal looks like it is so far away far from rich and you cannot get it no you can and in fact you are already living that reality in some part of the multiverse so how is that the reality that you want looks like I have an idea of mine my idea was to make in videos that I enjoy and that I'm passionate about my idea was to influence other people my idea was to create value in the world doing what I love. My idea was to make money just by being myself. My idea was to be free, not to be part of any community, but to create my own community. My idea was to live in a certain city. My idea was to be surrounded by beautiful things. My idea was to have a certain amount of money, a certain kind of relationship, a certain kind of friends. I was honest and I got very, very clear about what I wanted. After that, I became that person way before all of this was materialized. And yes, it takes partially a little bit of delusion, or if you even can, I will make a different video on it, just go straight into delusion altogether. Because reality is an illusion anyway, and when you are pretending to be the version of you that doesn't have what you want, and you are believing that, you are affecting within the mirror this reality because you are pretending to be this person. Listen, it's like, what Shakespeare used to say. We are all characters in the stage of life. You're who you think you are. It's not who you are anyway. You are delusional. If you think that your name is Katie and you live in the United States and all that you have experienced is who you are, you are, sorry Katie by the way, you are delusional. You are just what society told you you are. You are what your parents told you you are so far. You are what your experience, did, experience told you you were. You are what the mirror told you you are. You are what your emotion told you you are. You are what your thoughts, which are not under control, told you you are. You are as delusional as me. But the difference is I decided consciously this is who I'm going to be because who you pretend to be in the now is who you are going to become. Because of the law of cause and effect, the cause is never outside of you. The cause is inside you, like even Neville Goddard used to say. By the way, watch my video, The Seven Laws of the Universe Master All Reality. So if you want to wake up from the dream, you want to wake up from the game, you want to wake up from the illusion, it's time to be present. Presence, the blank state, is the first step. You're present, you get clear about what you want, you construct reality, you don't wait anymore, you don't 
think this is going to be good luck you get clear this is how my life should be this is how i want it to be and you get all the details and if you can write them down it good it does good just to visualize them clearly and then once it's done once you get clear about what you want and some of you might say but i'm not clear about what i want sweetheart it's fine but at least if you're not clear about what you want it's not the end of the world but Put the question out there in the universe and just say, today I'm going to figure it out who I am and what I want, who I want to become. And then one day at a time, because you're inquiring, you're questioning, what do I want? What do I want? The answer will come to you and then you will be able to materialize reality more specifically. You can even just say, I live it up to God if you believe in God. And that will work too because your soul knows what to do. But that's a topic for a different video. Now, obviously, if you're talking strictly about manifestation and materialization, most of you guys know what you want. Most of you guys know exactly the type of lifestyle that you want to live. You can have it. That's number one thing. Get clear about what you want, and now you gotta pretend that you already are that person. Now, the way you're gonna pretend it, I don't care what you choose. You can take it to a level of madness where you're actually speaking out loud. I don't care because it works anyway. You can just do it in your mind and remain grounded. Don't talk about it with other people, which is what I personally do. You can visualize, you can affirm for it. You choose whatever method you prefer and it suits you or even a combination of many. It does not matter, but you will persist in the becoming, in the pretending of being this person with lightheartedness in your heart, which indicates like children do. So I give you my example. Like I said, I always wanted to do YouTube, but for many years, I always wanted to do YouTube. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to gain money just by being myself. I just, I knew all of these things. And if you watch my older videos, and I'm talking about more than six months ago, a year ago, when I started the second channel, I have a video which is called the only video that you will ever need to watch about manifestation. It's funny because I still think that that video is the only one you should watch. I keep saying in that video I probably had what 1,000 subscribers not even I wasn't monetized on this channel nobody knew me in the law of attraction law of assumption community and I was delusional as hell I was literally on camera I was like watch me as I get viral watch me as I am going to become a popular youtuber watch me as I'm materializing my thousands of dollars watch me and check that out check six months later my videos check one year later my video because in my mind I acted as the person that already had it the way I acted I spoke out loud sometimes on camera. I woke up every day and I shoot my videos because that's the version of, that is a YouTuber does. I walked down the street of luxury shops. I went inside Cartier, one of my favorite jewelry store. I just lavish myself in an abundant lifestyle. Even when I didn't have the money for it, in my mind, even if I couldn't enter the shop and buy, I would enter anyway and walk those streets anyway why i will still watch um website that had luxurious apartments before i manifested my apartment uh, to buy my apartment in milan i used to watch them i ain't i don't care i didn't care about the price i didn't care about the price i'm still gonna watch it because in my mind i am the person that can afford all of that if you will hear me you will constantly hear me saying i got money i got money I got money and then it happened that I do actually in fact own have money and I can in fact live everywhere I want it happened because it doesn't matter whether it's true or not in the present moment it's all about your identification who you pretend to be is who you will become be virtue because of the fact that you live inside the mirror so to affect the mirror you need to change your states of consciousness and persist enough in that state of consciousness with lightheartedness so in if i wouldn't have become a youtuber in this sense and earning the amount of money that i was earning i didn't care so much i was like if it happens great if it doesn't 
I don't care. That's the first thing I said, dropping the importance. That's optional if you want to do it. I saw myself failing, which is optional as well. So I didn't care. And then when I said, is in the multiverse, is it real that there is a version of me that failed and lives in poverty? Yes, it is true. And I was okay with that as well. But then I said, because I am conscious, I'm awake in the mirror, I could choose better. And that's where I got my focus because your focus is your currency. Whatever you focus on persists. So guys, I don't care what modality you choose. If you want to affect the mirror through the affirmation, great. You want to do it with visualization, great. A combination of the two, great. I don't care. The core aspect is though, which is the first exercise I give to my clients, get down, write down who you want to be. I don't care where you come from. I don't care. I don't care about your circumstances. I don't care about your background. And bless you, your trauma. I don't care. You need to choose that the, those things don't affect you anymore. You need to choose that you want to be awakened in the mirror because otherwise you will fall back asleep and you will be conditioned by society. You will be conditioned by other people. You will be conditioned by older programs. You will be conditioned by the words of your parents. You will be conditioned by your past experience. We are done with all of that. If you want to be the master of your reality, it's time to wake the frick up and to say, this is who I want to be. I don't care if nobody believes in me. I don't care. I, I know the rules of the game. And I know that if I will persist in pretending to be the version of me that I always wanted to be, it has to happen because it's law. And there is no way around it. No complaint, no more hoping, no more waiting you are already who you claim to be and there is no way around it. I want to be so straightforward. There is no way around. There is no effort. There is no hard work. There is just becoming. That's why I don't believe in manifesting with effort or with so much discipline. Discipline is good in the sense that you know what you want and there is no one that can stop you. Great, of course. But I don't believe in the hard work and affirming and doing all of that. No. You know you are what you want to be. People might not see it, but in your mind, you already are a star. In your mind, you already have the love of your life. In your mind, you already possess millions. You are already rich. You just have to keep remind yourself that you are already rich because there is a version of you in the multiverse that is already probably, if the theory of the multiverse is real, that is already living that experience. I don't care if you don't see it yet. I don't care if people laugh at you. It makes, I don't care. It's pointless because this is the law. Whoever you pretend to be is who you will become. Every single person, every millionaire, every star, every celebrity, every um, influencer that I have spoken to and that I had the pleasure to meet. And some of my friends were extremely successful even on YouTube and we were talking about millions of followers. There's one thing that they all shared and they all told me, yeah, it's true. I have 1 million followers or I have this, I have that. But to be honest, it didn't change anything. In my mind, I was always the person that had 1 million followers. Even when I was a kid, I knew this is who I was. That's exactly what you should do if you want to affect the mirror. It's that simple. Change your identity, you change the mirror. Because the mirror, the reality, yes, is a mirror, but you live inside the mirror. So you gotta change who you perceive yourself to be and you'll see the magic. And you will see the magic unfolding. So guys, my camera went off. I'm recording with my phone, which probably I should just always record with my phone. I just got an iPhone phase at this point. Anyway, subscribe, hit the ring bell button, understand the rules of the game, and you will master reality. It's that simple. I love you guys. See you very soon on this channel and also on Patreon. Bye.